Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The sign on her office door puts it quite frankly. Some people find it kind of austere, but you know, I, I, like it. I love it. I love it under the stairs. Marceline Santos is known here as the woman in the cupboard under the stairs, what once was used as a storage space for the court and is now the place she works out of. That's kind of a joke by one of my colleagues when I moved here. And since 2009, she has been the public guardian for the territory. They've been very challenging, but they're also very rewarding. I mean, we're able to make changes in people's lives. There are people in the community who are not able to care for themselves. Um, financially, medically, physically. Her office currently cares for 85 clients they call wards. Otherwise, um, these people would be defenseless. People in need who are in their early 20s to their late 80s. This office is, a, is vital to Guam, you know, and in, in a perfect world, we shouldn't need the office of the public guardian, but unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. Though the services are beneficial, she admits the ever-changing pace of our community has contributed to an unfortunate disconnect between family members, ultimately resulting in her staff stepping in to assist. I can see where many families do um, get are, are worn out. There's something called caregiver fatigue, and and it it just becomes very difficult because many of the people with disabilities do have behavioral issues. And one reason why she says her job is far from over. I'm glad that you know I have been able to do something that I think is meaningful. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahu C. Nick Delgado. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.